Okay, so I wasn't planning on making a video today, but um, I just checked through one of my tapes um, just, uh, just out of curiosity to see what it had, and... <laughs> I can't even begin to describe how insanely weird this ending is, because it's got not one, not two but three interesting aspects to it. And when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, I have to put down everything I'm doing and make this video. Because trust me, this is one of the weirdest things you'll ever see. The first part is like the weirdest, I'd say. And then the last two uh, I've seen before, but they're still like really weird. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. But uh, the VHS this is on is actually something I got uh, relatively recently from an antique place. It's of a, a silent movie called The Bat. Uh, plus Bat Clips is just like some stuff from the Batman TV show. But uh, the reason I uh, dug this uh, out of my um, collection is because uh, I was looking up this movie out of curiosity. And... It was actually lost for um, a decent amount of time until like the 1980s. So already I knew I was in for a little bit of a treat. But what I did not expect was what was at the end of this tape. Obviously no printings on here, but still. Oh my god. You're not going to believe this. So like I said, it's the it's the first part that's the strangest out of all of them. And I think it makes a noise. Uh, like the thing on the tape makes a noise. So I'm going to turn this up a bit. Anyways, though, I've done enough talking. Uh, let's just get right to this. Oh yeah, this is an SLP tape, so I apologize for the tracking. Alright. Let's listen very carefully. Did you hear that? And did you see that? One more time, hang on. What is... Oh my god. Like, what is that? <laughs> that is just super duper weird. It's like a, a sky blue screen of death with some weird... Like, very faint weird noise on it. And then it cuts to blank space. So you think, well, that would be just the end of it, right? <laughs> No, that's where you're wrong. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. Um, it's a little bit of a short, bl shorter blank space than usual, but um, it cuts to, like, uh, back to black screen, and then watch what happens. All right, I'm just going to let it play right here. I'm just going to let this play out and uh, see what happens. I think I got it to a good spot. I don't know, though. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it goes back to black screen. And then it's going to do something, and then it's going to do another thing. Sorry about that. Okay, so it does this, like, fading rainbow thing. But then watch this. Look at this! The Gulf War was won as much by the product of these studies as by any weapon. It's, it's very Look at this! whether you win a war because of your strengths or your adversary's weaknesses. 
I think, however, one thing is quite evident, and that is that the way this war was fought was very... All right, I want to go back to um the part where, like, uh both of these, like, intersect, because it looks like it's spliced in. I could be wrong, but still, that's just insanity. Off to, um, take this out of the VCR and, uh, investigate this. That is like, what? <laughs> oh my god. No, actually, it doesn't even, it doesn't even, there's no like tape on it. What? Give me a sec. Where is this at? There's no way this isn't spliced. Anyway. What? It's it's very difficult to disentangle whether you win a war because of your expense or your adversary's weaknesses. I think, however, one thing is quite evident, and that is that the way this war was fought was very distinctive. The people who were responsible. <laughs> I love how like robotic the uh, tracking uh, like makes the noises. Yeah, and um, I did take a look uh, at the end of this to see what this program was, and it's actually something I already have on VHS. I believe um, it's of Desert Storm the Air Assault, which I got, I think, last summer at my local Goodwill. I'll uh, bring this to the uh, end of the program. Give me one sec. I think I probably went a little uh, too far forward. Yeah, I did. But, uh, yeah, I think after this blank space, it's just it. But I can uh, fast forward it just to, be, just to be sure. I will double check. All right, it'll, it'll say here. This tracking could go could go away. Oh my god. Okay, well it's part of the Desert Storm series, but it's not the exact one I have. It's close enough though. But still, how like how cool is that? You have, obviously, the program that's meant to be on the tape. Then you have this weird stuff. Then, uh, you have another program on here. Just, like, what in the world? And, yeah, like I said, I believe this is it. Um, let me stop this and fast-forward it just to make sure. Uh, yeah, that looks to be it. Alright, well. That was really, really weird, though. And super cool at the same time. So, yeah. I don't think I'm ever gonna see an ending like this again. So, this was a... <laughs> this was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I have yet to check bat clips, by the way. I will uh, make a video on that if there is something at the end of it, but yeah. Uh... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I sure did. Oh my god.